Once upon a time in a village named Harinagar lived an old couple, Ram and Shubha. They were childless. They used to make living by cultivating their two-acre farm. Listen, dear, I think it's very cold outside. It looks like it's going to rain. Keep all the doors and windows closed. Sure, but instead of asking me to do all this, why don't you do them yourself? I'm here cooking for you, and you will be annoyed if I serve your meal late. Ha uh ha! -huh. All right, I'll do it myself. Also, it's getting dark outside. Ram reaches the main door and was about to close the doors. He hears a weird noise outside, and he goes out to check. He sees an unconscious stranger lying down in their corridor. He said, "Oh my God, who is he? Why is he lying down here like that? Hey, you, who are you? What happened to you? Why did you lie down here in this cold? Why did you come here?" He questions him loudly, but there is no reply from the stranger. He realized that the stranger is unable to move or talk. He then walks closer to the stranger and touches him. He realizes that the stranger was shivering due to the cold weather and had fever too. My god, it's like flames from his body. I think he has very high fever. I wonder where he came from. He might die if he sleeps here like that. Hello, wake up. I guess you are not feeling well. Come inside, I'll let you sleep. The stranger somehow gets up with difficulty and thanks him humbly. Ram holds his hands and walks him inside. He then spreads a mat for him on the floor and covers him with a blanket to sleep on. The stranger immediately falls asleep. Shubhra who's watching everything from afar comes to Ram. Oh god, who is this man? Why did you bring him inside? What happened to him? Do you even know him? I don't know where he came from. He looks like an orphan. He slept in our corridor. You just look at his condition. He was running very high fever so I was afraid that he might die in this chilly weather. Let us let him sleep inside here for a night at least. But how can we let some stranger sleep in our house? Look at his beard, his clothes, his appearance. I sense something fishy. Will you just stop it? Why do you care about his appearance? As a human being I pitied him and brought him inside. He was in an unconscious state. I couldn't have asked his caste and religion before letting him. Hmm. All right, you get easily annoyed, but looking at him, I think he has not even eaten anything in days. I'll bring some warm milk. Once he wakes up, you give it to him. Sure. You sound ruthless, but you are kind-hearted. I'll make sure He drinks the milk if he wakes up although it seems like he won't gain consciousness sooner or later They both waited a while for him to wake up confirming that he is not going to wake up the couple also goes off to sleep The next day early in the morning Ram walks near the stranger to check on him Hello are you still sleeping now why don't you get up who are you by the way hey i'm talking to you wake up hey wake up Despite calling him several times, the stranger didn't even flinch. Then Ram walks closer to him and checks his temperature. My God, what's that? He has been burning all the night, and now he is unusually cold. God, I think he's dead. Dear, where are you? Come here at once. Ram gets scared and shouts for his wife. On listening to his yell, Shubha comes hurriedly to see what's that about. What happened, dear? Why are you shouting so much? And why is he still lying down? Dear, I think he's dead. I called you because I don't know what should I do now. Oh my God, is he dead really? Why did you bring a stranger inside first of all? Fine. Now you stop accusing me and think of a way at least. Hmm. You easily get annoyed, but this is a truth. Fine. There's a pouch on him. Go and check that first. you might find some details in it yes yes i agree that's a good idea approving shubha's suggestion ram checks the stranger and finds a money pouch near his waist he takes that pouch and pours it onto the ground along with the money he finds a letter in it 
वॉट इज दिस हाउ कम ही हैज सो मच मनी ऑन हिम ही लुक्स लाइक अ बेगर दो Along with that much of money, there is a letter also. Hmm. Then open and read it aloud. We might find any details of him in that. This looks like a letter wrote by a mother to her son. I guess she may be his mother. Listen, I'll read it loud. Yes, yes. Go on. This was the context of that letter. My dear son Krishna, a person from our village told me that you had fever recently. How are you feeling now? Your younger brother here is not doing well financially. His daughter was engaged recently, and he is worried about the three lakh rupees he needs for the marriage. It's a perfect match for his daughter. Now put aside all your past disputes and help your niece Lakshmi with her marriage. As an elder brother, you need to reconcile with him. As soon as you receive this letter, get the money and come here if your health is fine. We have changed our address. I'm writing the new address down for you. Love your mother. Ram understands the entire story after reading the letter. He now tells his wife. Poor man, he was on his way to his niece's wedding with that much of money, but died here in the middle before reaching the house. It is good that he has this letter with him. We got to know his brother's addresses with this. You are right. Now get ready. and go to that mentioned address hand them this money and the letter tell them what happened here and bring them here with you i'll stay with our neighbors until you come back let's lock the house yeah yeah all right i'll start immediately the couple without any further delay locks the house and leaves ram rides a bullock cart and reaches the village that's mentioned in the letter it's already a known by the time he reaches there he found the house very easily As he was about to go inside, he overheard someone talking. He stopped midway and started listening to what the conversation was all about. Mom, I failed to arrange money for Lakshmi's marriage. There is nothing I can do now. I will cancel this engagement now. Forgive me. Don't say that. It's a very good match for her. You can't just drop out because you don't have money. I've already written a letter to your brother asking him for money. What? Did you write a letter to my brother? But why did you do that? It's been so many years since we had a fight, and you know that we haven't been talking to each other. Now, how could you ask him for money, mom? I will never accept his money. I will not agree. I won't let my daughter get married with his help. What are you saying? The two of you didn't even look at each other for ten years, all because of a petty argument. I hope that you two will get together for Lakshmi's marriage. That is why I mentioned your hardships to your brother and asked him to come down and now you are talking like this No mom listen to me he is not stranger to you he is your elder brother don't give up on a blood relation for just a mere argument Ram listening to them patiently slowly approaches the door and knocks Is this house of Krishna's brother is there anyone inside the home Ram shouts. Krishna's brother opens the door and replies to him. Who are you, sir? I am Krishna's brother. What are you looking for? Please come inside first. Ram enters the house and sits on a chair. He then puts the money pouch on the table in front of him and hands the letter to Krishna's brother. My mom wrote this letter to my brother. Did he send you on his behalf because he don't want to visit us? If so please take the money and leave. I don't need my brother's money. I can find a way for my daughter's marriage. Wait a minute. Don't lose your cool. Just let me explain everything first. Your brother wanted to come here at first but he didn't make it. I feel sad to tell you this. There is not even a chance that you could meet him in this lifetime. What are you talking about? Why can't I meet my brother in this lifetime? What are you saying? But why? Did he say that he don't want to meet me? He must be alive even to say that. I am really sorry for your loss. And Ram explains everything that happened in his house. Krishna's mother on hearing this starts weeping. Krishna's brother is shocked and is lost for words for a second. After a few moments passed, he said, "Oh my god, brother, I am really really sorry. I have failed to value your presence just because of a silly argument. You always wanted to help me. Now I have lost you, my brother. I have never told you, but I love you, brother." He started crying profusely. 
But Ram was very angry with him. Ram ruthlessly told him, "One fails to value a person when he is alive. Your brother loved you so much that he wanted to visit you. You have lost your brother's love till now, and I regret to tell you. Sadly, you won't be getting one forever. I am also feeling sad for you. But that is why, son, you need to value your relation strongly. Why are you crying now?" Their neighbors gathered near the entrance to see what happened. Meanwhile, a fifty-year-old man walks inside the house. What's all this? What happened? Why are you all crying? On seeing that man, Krishna's mother and brother stopped crying and started staring at him. Ram looks at that man, not knowing what's going on. He starts thinking, "Who is this man, and why is everyone so shocked?" Brother, you, 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 you are alive. Yes, I am. Who is this old man? This old man came to us from a village next to ours. He told us that you are dead and handed us this letter and money. That's why we are crying. What? He said I am dead. Have you gone mad, sir? Can I know? Who are you? How did you get all this money with you? Ram is shocked to hear that the person standing alive in front of him is a person he thought was dead. He understood what happened and calmed himself down and said, "Oh my God." If you are Krishna, then who is the one who came to our house and died? So Ram explains the entire incident about the stranger to them and explains this is the reason why he came here. Right from sleeping in the corridor till finding a letter in the money pouch, Krishna, on learning what happened, smiles and replies, "Sir, I had to come here the day before yesterday. I stopped in a town to buy a sari for my niece." and there a man followed me saying that he is an orphan and asked me for some money i opened my money pouch and offered him a rupee i does it in pity later when i get done with my shopping i reached out my money pouch and realized it was missing i searched for him for a lot but had no luck i went back to my house took the money and came back here again that's why i am late so now i realized it was him who stole my money yesterday thank you very much sir I was worrying about my money. Thank you for bringing it back. Yes, sir. And after that, I found him unconscious. I took this letter immediately and came to you. So I think that's the beggar who died in your house, sir. Not me. Yes, he's for sure. I read the letter and mistook you for him. That makes me and my wife tensed. We got very scared when we found him. That's why I came here. Anyway, sir, you really did good for us. The money I thought I lost was found again because of you. I'm forever grateful to you. That's not all. You also united me and my brother again. Really, I have to say, we are forever grateful to you. No, it is the beggar who did this. Had he not stolen from you and approached me, I wouldn't have come here. So you both would have been away from each other. So thank the beggar. You really are lucky people. You have your family with you. See, your brother is back. From now, always stay together in harmony. That's not all. You also united me and my brother again. I have failed to see the good in you brother dear brother I have always loved you in my life even though I lived away from you all these times you are always my younger brother I have earned quite well in the town as soon as I read mom's letter I realized you are struggling and came here immediately there are no excuses between us your daughter is also my daughter brother they both apologize to each other krishna's mom on seeing them together says I'm very happy that you both got together at last. That beggar did a good deed to you even after his death. Because of him you both are together again. We are forever grateful to you for taking out the time and coming here at the right moment, Ram bhaiya. Please, I just did what I can do. Now I will take the leave. Because in my home I have lot of other work to complete. That beggar seemed like an orphan. I should carry on his funeral sir please let us come with you though he did wrong but he also united us without even knowing we will repay for his favor this way i think he has no one to look after him in this world please let us come with you okay as you wish two brothers came with ram to their village and completed the beggar's funeral and thanked ram they also invited ram and shobha to their daughter's marriage Krishna's mom feels very happy on seeing both the brothers reunite. Please like and share the video if you like the story. Kindly subscribe to our new stories book Telugu channel for more stories.